What's up everybody, Jason Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. Today I have a fun tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you how to remap time in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Now, time remapping can be quite confusing, and I think the confusion really stems from working with the speed keyframes, which are quite different from a regular keyframe. So I'm hoping to cut through some of that confusion with three different examples of how to work with time remapping. First, we're going to speed up time, then we'll slow down time, and then we're going to do a little reverse time. So let's get started here. First thing we want to do to help avoid the confusion is set up our workspace when working with time remapping. So if we go down here, the first thing I'm going to do is speed up time on this clip. So if we select the clip, the, well, the first thing I want to do is I want to see how I can, I want to be able to see my keyframes and how I can add extra keyframes. keyframes. And I want to be able to see them on the timeline and in the effect controls panel. So first, if we right click or control click on the clip in question, then we go to show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed. That's going to allow us to see our speed keyframes on our clip in the timeline. And then if we go up to the effect controls panel, you can see there's a time remapping section. Go ahead and flip that open. So this is the best way to work with time remapping. We can see it up here, we can edit it and add keyframes up here, or we can work in our timeline. Okay, so now let's speed up the time on this clip. What we wanna do is we have this simple clip of some people, some tourists strolling around Iceland and what we want to do is kind of uh, ramp up the speed from slow, almost from a, a standstill, to as, as fast as we can go. So let's set a keyframe to do this. And where the difference lies with these speed keyframes is we only really need one keyframe um, to make this effect happen. So again, there's a few ways to add a keyframe. We can add a keyframe up here in our effect controls panel, we can add a keyframe down here in our timeline, or we can simply hold command or control and click straight on the rubber band. This is called the rubber band here. And let me zoom in here. Up here is our white bar. This is basically the speed track bar. This is where the speed keyframes get set up. And if you look at this keyframe, you're gonna notice it looks it looks a little bit different than a, than a standard keyframe. And you'll see why. So the way the speed keyframes work is you have a rubber band and if you move this rubber band up or down on either side of the keyframe it's going to change the speed of the clip for that area so what we want to do is we want to slow down the left side the beginning because we're going from a slow speed up to a fast speed so we're going to move this side down on the rubber band and we're going to move this side up and we're going to do it as 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 fast as we can go and as slow as we can go so let me zoom out here now watch i'm going to speed up this side Watch what happens to our endpoint here. Well, I'm dragging up, and you can see there's a little percentage box here. Let's go up to a thousand percent, and now watch what happens when I release this. You can see it changed the duration because we sped that up. It's significantly shorter, and now the opposite's going to happen when we slow down this side of it. Now I'll zoom out. I'm going to grab this part of the rubber band and just drag it down. You can see it's moving. We'll drag it down to one percent, and when I release, you can see if I zoom out it extended it quite far. So I'm gonna zoom back in over here and we don't we don't really need all of this slow area so I'm gonna hit the Q button kinda of automatically trim that down and there we go now we have a nice clip that we're working with. So let's see what we have here. We added the keyframe and we changed the speed on both sides. Let's see what it looks like. Okay it basically goes from a standstill and then just really fast whips up to a thousand percent speed. But we want to we wanna have a nice gradual speed up. So how can we do that? Well, let's zoom in on the keyframe here. Now to help us, I'm going to add a sound effect. I'm going to add this power up oscillation noise. And again, all these sound effects I'm using you can get at premiumbeat.com, obviously. <laughs> so I'm going to drop this down. Now let's have a listen. Okay, so for the duration of this power up, I want... I want it to go from slow to fast. So now to change the duration and kind of ramp up this transition of the speed, if I grab the right side of this keyframe and drag it out, you're going to see it splits the keyframe. Now we have a split keyframe with a transition. Zoom back out. And you can see here there's some handles. And this is a, a basically Bezier handles. So we can make little fine tune adjustments 
to this transition. If we want to make it a little more abrupt or a little smooth, now we have a little bit of a transition here. So let's have a look at this now. If I don't know if this is going to play in real time with my system here, so let's see. Ah, brilliant. Much better, right? See, you can see it's about a, uh, what is that, like a almost a two-second transition here that kind of ramps up the speed. Very cool, very cool. Now, let's try to slow down the speed. So I'm going to go over here, have another area of the clip. So let's go ahead and, well, we're going to need to change this back to showing the speed keyframes because I think right now it's showing opacity. So we'll switch it to speed, and there's our speed view. And I will add, let me add a keyframe here. And again, I'm holding Command or Control in Windows. So I have a, key, a keyframe here. Now I want to speed up this side because it's going to go from fast to slow. So we're going to ramp this up to 1,000. And you know what, I might need to, this is where it gets a little confusing. I'm going to, okay, here we go. So I need a little bit of extra headroom. Okay, now let's slow down this side. We'll slow that down to 1%. Okay, so if we have a look at the beginning here, it's fast, and then it just kind of stops because it's going to 1%. So again, I'm going to use the sound effect here. I have a kind of a power down. I'm going to drag this down here zoom back in and now if I grab the keyframe here and I drag this out now we'll have a little bit of a transition here maybe throw a little bit of a curve in there now let's have a look and see our slow down <laughs> very cool very cool this might even be a cooler shot if we had like it if we were like in a car like a POV time lapsing with like a shutter speed driving with lights it would it would kind of be, make the effect much more cool as opposed to just people walking horizontally but nevertheless you can see this is a really really cool uh, uh, effect that has a lot of possibilities once you start to tweak and, and work with it now let me show you one other thing you can do over here I'm gonna do a little reverse time and if I select an area here and now what I want to do here is I'm going to show you how to reverse time, but I'm going to show you through an effect. I have a I have like a DJ scratch noise. So let's listen to this noise real quick. Okay, so it's like a little DJ scratch, and I want the Metro here to move to the beat. I want it to like scratch as the record scratch, and it'll go back and forth. So let me show you how to do that. So I go right to the beginning of the first scratch, and I'm just going to mute this because I don't want to hear it while I'm dragging the playhead over it. I need to turn that off. Okay, so now, again, I'm going to switch to time remapping speed keyframes. I'm going to add a keyframe here. Now, if I hold the command key on the Mac and I drag, you're going to see a little symbol come up there. And it's basically reversing the time. I'm still holding the command key. This is like the, the palindrome effect. Let's see, here we go. And now look, I release, and look what's happened here. Basically means it's going to automatically reverse the time, and it, it adds this other keyframe, which is basically saying that it's going, it's sending, it's replaying the same that that chunk back in forward motion. So if we look here, let's see what happened. Oh, let's turn on the audio. Okay, so we have a beginning there. So now let's grab this. Okay, now we don't want to split it like that. So how do we move this keyframe? If you hold the Alt key and you drag it, it's going to add, or it's going to basically just shift the, um, it's going to move the keyframe without changing any of the time. You see it's still at 100%. As long as I hold Alt, we're moving it to a, diff a new location. Okay, so let me put that into position here. I want to put it right here because I'm using the waveform to guide me. And then I'm going to grab this keyframe, hold the command, and I'm going to reverse again. So then I'm going to put it there. So now it's backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. So now, in theory, this should be done. So let's have a look. 
<laughs> yeah, simple enough. Cool little little record scratch there. And I could go through and uh, mess with some of the transitions, but I think that looks pretty good the way it is. So that, my friends, is a good introduction to time remapping. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.